We're back. Crawford Barbecue World Headquarters. My friend Brian. And my friend Brian. Yeah, Brian we're and Brian. Do, we're gonna do some jalapenos here. We're gonna do, uh, I, I have yet to come up with a name with it, so I'm, well, I'm open for suggestions. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have a steak, cream cheese stuffed jalapeno wrapped in veal scalpini wrapped in bacon. Ugh. Topped off with some Alamo dust. It's a meal in itself. I'm telling you, it sounds it, like a little bit of Italian gold to me. It is. So uh, you go ahead and get to it ready and I'll, I'll... So first and foremost, I like to do a lot of jalapenos and I have found that the best way to open them up is surgically. So I always start from the end here, going across and then pulling my knife, rotating the jalapeno all the way through like a horseshoe so that I can create a window into it like that. And that actually helps me shell it out. So I'm just gonna finish these up. And as you can see, I start on one end, go through long ways, and then pull it all the way around like that. And that way I preserve as much of what we end up stuffing in it with without anything leaking out when we go to roast it. Obviously, like all things, if you don't have a sharp knife, you're gonna hurt yourself. So having a sharp knife for anything that you're cooking is going to be the key to success. We're just gonna Would do, you agree? I agree. We're just gonna do four uh, today. We could really make five, six if we wanted to, but I got four nice pieces of steak in here. It's gonna make for a very delicious snack. You got one uh, that's ready to go? Ready, I need a little, I need one with cream cheese so I can get some magic going on. All here. right, so if you can see it, I'm just taking a small spoon. I like to use like a teaspoon, espresso spoon, something that's serrated. And I take out the seeds, shake it out. I don't run it under water because if it does, it's gonna release all of the oils from the jalapeno and it'll end up causing you to walk out of the kitchen from coughing, just get a little. I like to leave seeds in like one. I like to leave a lot of seeds. That way it's like jalapeno surprise. <laughs> For that one person that gets one that's really hot, <laughs> then they, uh, they, they find out. Do they end up being a friend or a foe? Well, it doesn't really matter because it's just as funny if it's a friend. <laughs> I find it to be just as funny. So we're just gonna stuff that big old piece of steak in there. Then we're gonna take this piece of veal scalpini and we're gonna wrap it. How do you, the Italians say veal scalpini, Brian? Well, I don't know. I say it veal scalpini. <laughs> How do can you do it? Can you do it with a little accent? Veal scalpini. How's that? <laughs> it's pretty authentic. Pretty authentic. For a guy so, from Kansas. I'm gonna take two pieces of bacon because why not? I'm gonna one run like the run one like that and then actually I'm gonna go ahead and get a little seasoning on here mm -hmm. what seasoning are you using a little Alamo dust oh really Crawford, where was that founded Crawford's barbecue uh, dot com is where you can find it yeah now I'm just wrapping it around since we're nice, we got such a big fat piece, we're gonna, it's gonna take, this is a three bacon wrap here. But, so I like to stretch it just a little bit. And there we go. And then one, one thing important about whenever you're making any kind of popper is once you get on there, give it a little, little squeeze like that. It gets it on there nice. And then I'm just gonna get a nice liberal coat of Alamo dust all the way around. That looks like magic. We got one ready. You're getting ahead of me. I only got I only got enough for four here. Well, we'll stuff the rest with just cream cheese and wrap it in bacon. Oh, okay. You are one needy person. Look at that. That's that's a nice piece of steak all by, all by itself. Did you pre-season that steak, or you just? No, gonna... I just I just took a about a inexpensive piece of New York strip, mm -hmm. nothing fancy. And then uh, 
and you cube it up. I just made little, if you want to call those cubes. Give it a nice little stretch. When it cooks, it's gonna shrink up a little bit and it's gonna stay nice and tight. And you're just gonna have a, at the end product, which you'll see in a little while, be beautiful. Beautiful. And these are good for anything. I mean, you make a meal out of these, great tailgate. I like taking a fresh tortilla and pulling these straight off the grill and just putting it right in and just eating it as is. There's right. so much flavor in them. That'll work. Anytime I'm doing a popper or anything bacon wrapped, I like to cook it as, as high as heat as possible. I want it to be indirect. I don't want the bacon to be over direct coals. Uh, it's just, you, you know, I don't want to have to flip it. I don't want to turn all this. If you, if you put it over direct coals and you have to flip it, it the, the whole thing's going to come apart. You can have a mess. So I like to cook it on indirect heat so it's gonna get plenty of heat to cook everything. And, and really the way I tell if it's done is the bacon is crispy. Once the bacon starts looking crispy, and uh, we'll show you in a little while, we're going to uh, glaze it with some Memphis Mistress. Uh, it, the, the, the pit or the grill itself, it can be anywhere from 300 to 400 degrees. I don't care so much as long as it's indirect. Obviously, the hotter, the faster it's going to get done. So I'm just looking uh, for one thing, that bacon to get crispy. All right. Got my Crawford poppers ready to go on. I'm going to use my uh, trusty uh, Pitmaker Grillmeister. I got the fire all the way down where you can adjust it. So it's not exactly indirect heat like I talked about earlier, but I got all the way down so it's not going to be killing it. Plus, I got the grill grates on here, too, that's going to help protect them. Here in just a little bit, I'll spritz them, keep them nice and moist. Keeping these Crawford poppers nice and moist. They come along nicely. You can notice the uh, bacon starting to get crisp. Probably about another 10 minutes, I'm going to uh, glaze these things. They're almost done. They're looking like money. You notice how the, the bacon all stayed in one spot because I just put them on that rack how I wanted them and didn't cook them on direct heat. So keeps them nice and pretty. All right, these Crawford poppers are done. We're just gonna put some glaze on them. Give them some of this Memphis Mistress. All right, we're just gonna let that glaze sit for about five minutes. Oh, these babies are done. Glaze is set. They're ready to go. Look at that. Crawford poppers, looking good. Ah, we're back. These Crawford poppers are done, ready to eat. Just to recap, we had some cream cheese, with a chunk of steak stuffed in a jalapeno wrapped in veal scallopini, wrapped in bacon, a little Alamo dust on them, and right before we pulled them off, we glazed them with some Memphis Mistress. Now here's the test. Oh, that looks like magic. If you look at there, got the steak, Bill scalpini, the bacon, the cream cheese. It's just ready to go. And just to recap, Ryan, how do the Italians say veal scalpini? Screw you. I think that's how it's <laughs> properly said. I'm, I'm not sure, but I, I'm pretty sure it is. But there we go. Here, you want to try, take, try, try, smart ass? <laughs> I'm in. All right. That looks delicious. I'm glad Hector left me this knife. That way I can use it. It's nice and sharp. That's over the top. Hot. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think the layer of the flavors with the spritz is what puts this over the top. There's so much going on. The jalapeno, the cream cheese, the steak, the veal scallopini, the bacon. 
How about we get Oscar and Hector to try some of this, see what they think. A little on the hot side. Get the <laughs> he was the first one over here. <laughs> what do you guys think? It's a little hot. Temperature hot. Just like Brian said, that that's, there's a lot going on there. A lot of goodness. Yeah, all the goodness. You, this, you can taste the layers of flavor throughout the whole. The good thing about that bike, Brian, is it unfolds as you're eating it. Yeah. So you're getting all those flavors you're talking about at different portions. Really good. Delicious. Great job. Mm -hmm. awesome. Like I said, you make a meal out of this, make an appetizer, whatever you want. There you go. Get all these products at CrawfordsBBQ.com. Try this recipe out, you won't regret it.